Uh, all right. JJ. All right, yeah, go and do. And then you're gonna. So you're up. So right. you guys are live. Taylor needs to go live. It's a live stream. So oh, are we literally live? live? This you're is going happening. live right now. Hi. Right. Okay. But Taylor, hey is Taylor live? <laughs> Taylor's not live. Okay, Taylor's We're live. Find all Taylor, the live things are all happening as we speak. Okay. Uh, Amazing charities with amazing influencers like myself, Olivia Jordan, and like the really cool guys next to me. This is Taylor Kniff, JJ Hannon, <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the Make a Wish Foundation. All the live cameras, y'all. You can tune in on both of their Instagrams and obviously where you're at. But make sure to ask so many questions throughout the show. We're going to be here for an hour. I'm going to get these guys signing shirts. And um, I'm going to try to get them to answer your questions. No promises that they'll answer, honestly. So far, I've got the Taylor's JJ's uncle. Who knows? Yeah. Um, I, am, I am actually his uncle, believe it or not. It's, okay. crazy, it's a crazy story. Yeah, actually, I am. Actually, it's a crazy story. It's a story. Um, he is my that, uncle. That's a crazy story. So yeah, we're working with uh, Make-A-Wish, which is something I have truly believed in ever since I've started doing what I've been doing. i um, been doing this for like six years, and I've worked with you know several younger girls, also younger males who, you know, Make a wish is basically a, a final dream to be able to do something. These are uh, kids that are struggling with, you know, diagnosis with like cancer and other diseases, and it's very sad. And um, it, it just touches home with me because you know, for someone's final wish to be able to meet someone uh, is uh, very meaningful. And these people, you know, this money goes straight to them, helping them be able to come to events, to meet these people, fly them, flights, all that. So this is something. I believe truly, and I feel like JJ maybe yes. has probably met a couple of yes, make of a wish people. So it's just something I believe in, and uh, it's something that, that I'm strong and I'm passionate about, and uh, uh, just like a great making, cause. Yeah, you're making dreams come true. It's, it's a great cause. It's, it's, it, that's that's the main goal. Great one. <laughs> there's uh, a party behind the scenes here. Yeah, there's a party going on. Uh, but that's that's why I'm involved. So. What, how did you get involved with it initially? Did someone reach out to you or? Um, so when I was around the, uh, I was doing my own tour at the time, never happened during the MadCon days, which was originally initi initiated like all the social media stuff that I ended up doing gradually. But I ended up meeting a girl, she was, her name was uh, Caroline. And her final wish was to meet me, it was actually on my birthday. Um, and her final wish was to meet me, it was on my birthday, it was February 3rd and I was actually in Houston. Um, and this was in uh, 2017, and she uh, basically told me, she's like, I have five more days left to live. She was on, uh, got left off the tank, I met her family, and I was like, whoa. And then ever since that, I've like, just like viewed life, you know, like every moment I've been able to, you know, analyze and be like, yo, like life is, you know, as you take it. So ever since Amazing. then, that's just, since that moment, I've, you know, and then I've continued to meet people throughout so many people I've got to meet through yeah. that. So it's, it's an amazing foundation, um, my favorite. Yeah, it's Crazy. an amazing cause. And for any of you that don't know Make-A-Wish, I feel like it sort of stands for itself now. It's been around yes. for 40 years. It's all over the US and 45 countries internationally. So they're helping so many kids and you can be part of it. We are selling shirts today that y'all are signing. Yeah, Did I you am know signing. that? Yes, I am signing everyone. I'm I feel like we wearing... need to like show off the shirts. First of all, you're both modeling them beautifully. Come on, look baby, at that. Show work me. it, work there it. There we go. We got <gasps> July 28th, July 28th, 2018 on the back. That's uh, so what the yeah. fronts look like right here. Beautiful. And this Hipster. Is what, this is what they look like when they're signed. This is actually the girls. The girls. I signed that. The girls, no, they, I signed they actually too. they physically transform once you sign them. Yeah, they immediately just yeah, yeah, they go like this. Once I sign them, they turn into that. But yeah. beautiful. Y'all get your Taylor Kniff signature. And how, how can they how, how can they get these? They can get those on directendorsement.com or if you're on any of our Instagrams, I feel like we all just made a story with a swipe up. Okay, cool. And it's it's gonna it's gonna be right there. So if you're watching this on direct endorsements. I think if you just like scroll on the page, you can yes. buy it. Yeah, I'm getting thumbs sense. up from behind. Sense. From behind. Yeah, but it's a great cause. I love that you've been working with it forever. For a long time. That's as soon unreal. as they asked me like what charity I want to work with, it was it was immediate. It was yeah. Just, if I'm gonna do anything, it has to be with these people. So. Yeah. So I mean, what a great cause. Yes. And I feel like it's cool that you get to like make kids' dreams come true because I feel like you started living your dream as a kid. As a kid, yes. Yeah. As a kid, and to be able to meet you know these kids and stuff and. 
you know, it, it's just like, it's one of those that like, it's like a lot of those, like, I mean, no offense, like a lot of stuff, but like, you know, you, people throw a lot of money and you don't really know what's going yeah. on. This is something that's more like hands on. You totally. see it, it's there. And that's why I'm like, oh, this is like, this is real life. Like I'm seeing cool. this in real life. So it's like, it's just like super there for me. Okay. So for my five followers that are tuned in that don't know you guys yet. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Give JJ Hannon. I'm a 16 year old singer. And music is my biggest passion, and I've loved every single fan I ever have had mm. and have, and it means the Everyone. world to me. Every single one. I don't so come from too much, and I know he doesn't come from too much either. Um, so the fact that, you know, where we are, where we are today is amazing, and it would not be possible if it wasn't for both of our amazing families of fans. That's so cool. True. Uh, I am uh, Taylor Kniff. I'm 22 now. I've been doing this probably since I was like 16, 15. So um, nice. Pretty crazy, uh, and basically I'm just like a, like just been an influencer throughout the entire time. I have a reality show on Netflix that did very well, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, and basically just just living out my dreams now with uh, the people that like to tune in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. can't complain about much. So oh my god, very exciting. What is it like? I mean, like you y'all have both exposed your life to the world mm -hmm. since you were kids. Like, what's that? What's that like? Any regrets? Well, he's not old enough to really realize. Uh, actually. <laughs> Um, being a kid and being young, um, as you know, this is something I've wanted to say for a while. I think it's the right time. Um, I've made different mistakes, you know, maybe saying certain things and maybe, but now I've truly realized that, you know, be kind. It's, you know, 20, it's 2018. Just be kind, be well, yeah. be good. Yeah. And to just, you know, if someone is mean or something, you know, it's just because whatever, something's going on in their life totally. and they're insecure about that situation. So they're trying to totally. put it, you know, to say, I do the same thing. So it feels the same. Um, so that's pretty much my biggest regret sometimes, you know, saying things I don't mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all like learning as we go mm -hmm. and you're having to learn on like a super public platform, which I couldn't have done when I was your age. Yeah. So honestly, like props to you for like humbling yourself and, yeah. and learning as you go and supporting great causes like Make-A-Wish and like honestly changing people's lives. Like it's so cool that you get to talk to these kids and make their wishes come true. And 100%. Yeah, I love that. My greatest that. thing, greatest achievement. What, what about you, any regrets? Oh, I have a ton of regrets. My entire <laughs> life is all about, you know, uh, learning. Um, I don't, wouldn't call them regrets, I'd call them mistakes. Um, there's not too many things in life I really regret because I feel like everything is kind of a learning, learning lesson. Learning curve, yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I never went to high school. I never um, went to college, obviously. So uh, I just grew up straight into this lifestyle, really didn't know yeah. what I was doing. We were the first of our kind. Uh, there was no one doing what we were doing at all. Like social media like, was just like an app. It was starting up. And then you know, I met with this Bart Borderline guy who wanted to make this sort of life. It started out with like a, just a simple basic meet and greet in Texas yeah, yeah. Um, at the Galleria. And my friend Aaron Carpenter reached out to me and was like, yo, have this investor guy that wants to like, make this like, a thing where we'll have girls come and we want to make it like a meet and greet convention. That's the name MadCon came up. So, cool. um, you know, growing up in that spotlight, uh, I, I grew up in like, a, you know, a different environment in Indiana. So like, um, I wasn't exposed to much. I was raised by my father, never a mother. So I was just like, you know, daddy's boy. And my dad's like, like I don't know, like a modern day Kenny Powers. So <laughs> okay. I was raised in like a really different environment, like a lot of drinking, partying going on. Um, and then boom, I have like these, these three, three million like, un, like young girls and every <laughs> single thing I do is on like it's a on higher such scale. such a big scale, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I've made some like awful mistakes, but they're like, you know, like where I'm from, they're like little mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to like but it, the microscope, such a big scale, the microscope yeah, yeah. out here, they're, they're humongous mistakes. Yeah. So it's like. I kind of like, at the time I hated it, but like as I've grown up, I've learned like, yo, it's made me a way better person. Yeah. And I've learned from those mistakes and they've, they've made me way better. But yeah, they've been on like a, like, like TMZ, like doom, like yeah. they've been, they've been to that platform and like, well, yeah, that yeah. makes everything way more worse. Well, <laughs> honestly, you're like, we all make mistakes. And as long as you turn those lessons, like you can, you can turn it all, turn whatever you learn into a good thing. But yes. um, you're supporting an amazing cause about making dreams come true. Do you have any dreams left to accomplish in life? Or have you done it? You done um, it? I have one. I'll go. You go. You, go. you, go. you um, got this. What's, I what's made a promise to myself in sixth grade that I would sell out Madison Square Garden one day. No way. And I'm not stopping until I do. Great. And when I do, I'm going to sell it out again. Okay. 
Why Madison Square Garden? Um, I'm originally from New York, mm -hmm. and growing up, I lived in a small town in New York, and I was, I wouldn't say, you know, bullied too bad, but I was told, you know, I couldn't do things. I was yeah. told, I was bullied. I was, when I played baseball, because someone didn't like my dad, I wasn't able to play on, you know, the team when I was one of the best players. You know, just certain things, you know, I was so many times I was, you know, knocked down to the ground yeah. and just told, you can't do this, you can't do that. Just stuff that's out of my control as an eight-year-old boy growing up until 11 and then sixth grade. And then when I started music, I said, I'm going to prove everyone wrong and I have every step along the way and I will not stop until I just show everybody that I'm the real deal and I am a musician. And I'm not a social media influencer, I'm a musician. And nothing, like, I mean, it's just proving that. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see you at Madison Square Garden. Thank you so it's much. It's going to be sick. <laughs> I like that. Taylor, what about you? Any any dreams you haven't accomplished yet? Um, you know, you're just, I, you're just knocking them down. Uh, yeah, I mean, every step of the way. I mean, I didn't have too much time to think about dreams. You know, like, all happened. My dream was never to be like, yo, I want to be uh, You were an influencer before it was a thing. Uh, before it even had a, a label. Yeah, so yeah. my dream initially was like, yo, I want to go to the NBA. I want to be like, you know, a basketball player. I want to build my parents a house. Um, I was able to do it another way, which was, was, was huge, and I dealt with that when I was younger. Uh, dream was always, uh, I remember watching Bam Margera on Jackass, and that was like a big influence for me. Yeah. I remember he got this Lamborghini Gallardo. It was a uh, maroon Lamborghini. I accomplished that, and that, that was cool. And then I kind of lost <laughs> like a lot, like it was like a big period for me from like the age of like 20 to now, as I've kind of like you don't think about like dreams anymore. It's like, I don't go to sleep and think of a dream. I don't think about like, just like some weird shit, like some weird <laughs> stuff. But like, I remember being at the time like 12 to 13, I was always like, oh, like this and that. And now it's just like, I want to keep up with just being able to- You're living. To it. maintain, yeah, 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 what I'm doing. But I mean, obviously, you know, dreams are gonna come. This is just right now. And this is not something that I'm looking to do for the rest of my life. So yeah, yeah. eventually that day will come. But for now, I'm just gonna, you know, live it out and uh, keep living my dream. And then I'll, yeah. you know, I don't want to, I don't want to cancel out a dream for a dream that I always had. So. Totally, totally. And you're making dreams come true with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. People get to meet you, they want to meet you. And y'all, if you are buying these shirts as we go, this is the women's, they're wearing the men's, men can wear women's, women, whatever. If you like it, buy it. Asexual. Um, and they can like write you special notes. So. Yeah. Let us so, know what you want. <laughs> whatever you want on there, I will write it. <laughs> yes. Let, let these guys know. Um, but if we have any questions, please send us questions, y'all. I have some questions coming through. Um, make sure you guys are going to direct endorsements to buy the shirts. That's where you can get them. Um, okay. What made you guys want to get involved with social and your YouTube? That question's from Andy. Um, what made me want to get involved with social media, yeah. music in general, would be just my passion for music and yeah. love for music. No other, you know, realm about it. No, nothing really else about it. That's just something I've always loved, always wanted to do, and it's just it's a great platform it's a great, to, great platform yeah. to do. It. Yeah, that's awesome. What about you, Taylor? Um, so it basically started out uh, in middle school. Um, I was doing a bunch of like uh, personal like videos for like my uh, Facebook and my MySpace. Okay. So like I would have a homepage where everyone would w open it up and it would be. <laughs> what are you doing, JJ? I don't. I have a poor connection. We're struggling behind the scenes, but we're we're here. We're here. How much? Fifty. All good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Are we okay? Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was uh, basically started in high school, or well, getting ready to go into high school, and I like was like, yo, like, I really didn't vibe with school, I didn't vibe with people that were at my school, so I, I looked at social media. Yeah. And I gained friends on there, and then I just continued through Facebook, and then eventually uh, Vine came out, and then Instagram, so cool. it just kept going. But yeah, it just started with not wanting to be at school. Yeah. Literally sitting at <laughs> well, home all day on the internet. And that's then, good. Yeah, it was different. How do you come up with ideas for all your videos? Do they just like come to you? Do people come to you with ideas? Or? Uh, so when I did the Netflix thing, I, I quit YouTube. So okay. my whole goal then, um, and a lot of my followers know this, is like I've always looked up, you know, and there's people that people look up to and they like don't admire the, the same people you admire, but I've always loved Scott Disick. Okay. So it's someone I've always loved. Uh, so like that was kind of like my standpoint on it. 
Um, and then we had the Netflix thing come out, and I haven't done another YouTube video since. So okay. I like, haven't really thought, but the idea is when I was, was doing it, it would just come to me like, I'll be like at a certain situation, yeah. and I would notice something funny. I'm like, yo, we gotta make this a video. Do this. That's exactly how it came. So, cool. so yeah. I like it. A little it. different. All right, there's more questions. Um, Chelsea asked, what was one of your stories, favorite stories from your tour? Um, which tour? Because there's a lot. Um, being being arrested in Cologne was probably like my favorite for sure. <laughs> Classic. Uh, life we all have experience. that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that was fun. Um, <laughs> and that was that was on Netflix. I mean, what's actually... the story behind that? Does everyone already know? Um, basically, just like a ton uh, on my part. There was like a, a, a ton of alcohol consumption on my part. Okay. Okay which um, wasn't good, but I basically was just like at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Did um, you end up in actual jail in Cologne? Like, like I'm talking about like in like a, like a, like a four by four box. What? And I wake up and I'm like knocking on the door and the dude How comes there. How long were you there? Well, as soon as the dude talked to me, he was like, yo, you're good now? I'm like, yo, what's going on? Oh my God. And he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like you got knocked out last night. I was like, I can tell. I was like, I feel it. I was like, oh. my head hurts. <laughs> He was like, he was like, he was like, yeah, we, we, you, you got to go in for questioning. And then I went in there, and then after I was done with questioning, they just let me go, no charges okay, okay. or anything. And it, it wasn't my fault, but they're just like, since I was under consumption, they had. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was just we were celebrating. It was like near the end of the tour. Yeah. Um, you know, 21 years old. Lee, Lee, I think the legal drinking age on there was like 16. It's, it's definitely. Yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, it, it was a different. It was but, all... but apparently it was a Swedish mob, and they're like out for us. I don't know. Oh wow. I don't know if I believe. Wow, there. Are, I don't know if there I are layers to this story. I don't know if I believe. More later on that. Um, okay, I just got a message that the next 10 people that buy shirts will get a personal message from the guys. So yeah, the next 10 of you, if you get your shirt right now on directendorsements.com, you'll get a personal message, and you can maybe tell us what that message is going to be, and we'll determine if you get that or not. There's some Beautiful. messages that you can't get. You know? Beautiful. You know? Um, like happy birthday, for example, or I don't know. Y'all can come up with stuff. You're creative. Um, but yeah, okay. So the Make-A-Wish Foundation, what was your, the first person you met was uh, Caroline. Is, has there been anyone else that has stood out to you that you've met over the years? Um, I mean, there, there's been there've been several girls yeah. throughout, you know, the course of doing it. Um, but that was definitely my favorite, and I'm also around, uh, when I'm on tour, I'm around like 12 other influencers. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they all had them too, so they were just like, you know, coming in and out, and it was just something that I could personally see, but Caroline, you know, like nothing will ever stand yeah. out to me more than that ever. I actually did like a post like not even a week ago, but oh, no way. about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's definitely been yeah. the most standout-ish to me. But yeah, there's been, there's been other girls that just have been with my friends, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your main audience, girls? Uh, yes, uh, 80%. Okay. Wow. There you yeah. go. Can't complain. <laughs> He's a ladies' man, y'all. Can't complain. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Uh-uh. Your 80% of followers really want to know. I have a girlfriend now. Are you looking? <laughs> yeah, always. Oh, my God. Girls. Oh, Slide into working. those DMs. Do you read your DMs? I do, actually. Uh, I read my DMs I all no the time. No way. Yes, of course. You yes. do? All of, of course. them? I make, do you feel like you miss them? I mean, if they're just like spam and they're like not yeah, yeah, like yeah. something, like if they're just like follow me, it never will open them. But like right. if it like looks interesting, you can only see like the first like four words they say. Whoa. And usually you can tell by those four words, like, do I want to open this? And okay. then it will say seen. And then I don't want to look right. guilty. Like I open up a message and it didn't respond. So I was like, I love you too. Oh my God. Or it's like, let's go on a day. I'm like, yeah. Wait, that's all right. Girls, you got to like slide in with some four interesting words. I don't know why. True. <laughs> you gotta get his attention somehow. What about you, JJ? Are you a DM reader? I'm not a DM reader that much. I mean, I, that, I, I mean, used that's to be. Impressive. I used to be a major DM reader to the point where I would always be on my phone DM people. But you know, people twist things. You know, it made it confusing. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of right now I'm not really DMing people much. Yeah, I'm like, not a DM reader. No shame. I um I have my you know my friend group and I DM some fans sometimes. But yeah, yeah. As of recent, I've kind of stopped yeah. as much because yeah. it's just you know it turns into the whole thing. You yeah. Know? I'm personally like, I'm busy in the comment section. I want our conversation to be public. I'm not so busy in the DMs. Yeah. That, that can get cray. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I'm over reading them right now. Y'all, oh, are you reading them right now? Oh my God, yeah, Wait, course. do you have any good ones? Um, I got you. My bad. Wait, <laughs> wait what's the weirdest, in, in line, what's the weirdest thing that a fan has ever same said? Way, do you know? 
Uh, the weirdest what? The weirdest thing a fan has ever done or something. About my back. Um, well, he, JJ's a fan, and <laughs> he asked me to itch his back, uh, so I, I did. Okay. Um, and, I mean, that was really weird. I've never been asked to itch your back. Okay. So yeah, he, he scratched my back. <laughs> it was fun. It was different, and, it, you know, can't complain. Yeah. Uh, real talk, okay. um, weirdest fan experience. I mean, there's been a ton. <laughs> He's sifting through them in his brain right it's now. Just, there's so many really weird <laughs> ones. I mean, I don't know if it was a fan, but a fangirl's mom one time, we came back to the tour bus, and I always left it unlocked because it's in the back of the venue. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like, we would all be different. Like, I would never, like, the code was like 15 digits, and I'm just like, I can't even remember my phone number. So I'm just like, uh, cancel it out, and then I'll just keep it unlocked. And we came back, and there was like a fangirl's mom was sitting on the tour bus. And she's like, I want to talk to you, this and that. What? And I was like, you got to be on drugs or something. I was like, I was like, uh, I'm sorry, but like, and I leave and then like manager came on, he was trying to get her off, couldn't get her off. Yeah, yeah. And then the tour manager came, he couldn't get her off. So we, had, we actually had to call the cops and then finally she like wow. got off there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I feel like you just gave like really interesting insight to your fans that they can like get into your tour bus on your next tour. They can like slide into your DM. Of course, of course. No, it's open. Very it's accessible. Always, it's always open, but you, 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 you say hi and that's it. And then yeah. you leave, you don't sit there and be like. Preferably, yeah, preferably not, not like welcoming yourself in. Like not. No, that, that was on that Pacific tour we had that usually just the key would work. The but key. They had an actual, like you had to type in like an eight, like a 15 yeah, like too, digit code. Too many numbers. Like I'm with you. I feel you. Um, what, what are the little things that make JJ happy? This is a fan question. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> a very specific fan question. Um, I would say the little things that would make me happy is if, if I meet you, ask me how my day was. Okay. Um, ask me what I'm doing. Ask me, you know, just be calm with me. You know, be nice with me. Yeah. And, you know, I will be amazing to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like babies. I like. <laughs> Um, I are mean, you a dog or cats person? A cat. Cat, okay. Cats. Yes. Okay. So, um, I mean, I like dogs too. I kind of have a dog, but, and a cat. But, how do you kinda, um, wait, how it's, do you it's a long story. Well, it's wait, here. Wait, it's, it's like, it's here. It's everywhere. Okay. It's just uh, this dog I kind of like work with with pink ears and like, you know. Okay. okay. Um, but, yeah, just the little things to make me happy is just be there. Be okay. nice. Be kind. You know, don't be mean to me. Cool. Buy shirts. But, uh, That's going to make him happy. I mean, honestly, wouldn't it be really fun if your fans were wearing these shirts when you yeah. saw them, like, yeah. representing your signatures? I feel like that'd be kind of cool. It's like, they care about what you care about. Um, what's your biggest fear in the lifestyle you have created for yourself? All right, so my biggest fear is a lot of times people could twist words I say yeah. and twist things I say. and. My biggest fear is, you know, a girl going to sleep crying because she thinks JJ doesn't love her. A girl being upset, a girl doing something, you know, yeah. stupid to herself that she should not do. A guy too. I forgot. You don't want to leave out the guys. There are yeah, yeah. some. We have a, a massive guy fan base. Yeah. Um, and that's my biggest fear. Just yeah. you know, words being twisted around. Being misunderstood. Being, being misunderstood. Yeah. You know, I'm 16 and I was thrown into this when I was about 14. Yeah. Even you know, younger than most people. Yeah. I've been doing acting and modeling since I was 11. Wow. Um, so I don't really, I didn't really get to have a normal social life. I didn't go to, I finished middle school up and then middle school I was fully, I didn't really get to go to high school. Mm -hmm. um, so I haven't really had, you know, been able to have a serious girlfriend. So sometimes I don't even know how to act with a girlfriend because yeah, I yeah. never really went to high school to, you know, copy others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I take after, you know, other people like Taylor, you know, he helps me out all the time, you know. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's hard. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, with all that being said, respect to you, JJ, but none of that would matter. My biggest fear always in life is before anything ever happens, death. Okay. There ain't no fear before yeah. death, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's, yeah. I mean, good one. Um, to Taylor from Julia, what advice would you give to your young followers? Hmm. Thanks for the question, Julia. Definitely live your dream. Uh, don't let anyone, you know, try to mold it for you. Do what you want to do. Let take no one else's advice. And um, most likely, with you know what's going on, uh, stay in school. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even though you don't, you're like 
do as they say, not as they do. A lot of times, you know, like I, I, I think I was just like a burden. Like I always was like, what would high school have been like? What would yeah, yeah, middle yeah. school have been like? Yeah. Um, and often I tell myself probably not very cool, but it would have been an experience. So um, that's the, like the most, like I know like Jake Paul and all them are saying like there's all this going on about like not going to school. Like the like dropout rate is ridiculous right now. Whoa, yeah, yeah. So if I could have any influence to be like, yo, like it's not something to take pride in. It was just something yeah. that I had to do to be able to do yeah. what I could do. Like I wish I could have multitasked and like been able to go back home. Yeah. But at the time my parents couldn't afford online school. So I never started that out yeah. as a thing. So then it never really happened, but yeah. that'd be my, my strong advice. Yeah. Yeah, and no shame in the game. I went to school, graduated college, um, and started my career at 22. So like, it's never too late. Don't feel like never if you late. don't make it by 16 that you can't make it. Of course. You can finish school and still have a whole life ahead of you. Don't worry, guys. Life isn't that short sometimes. Sometimes it is. Live it up. Um, okay, wait, what's something that makes you happy? JJ answered, but we didn't get your what makes you happy. Uh, being around my friends and family, um, uh, realistically, I mean, there's nothing else that, you know, matches just being around my friends and family, being alive, being healthy, and, I mean, that's, I think that's it. I think that's about it if I'm not around my, my anyone. Yeah, that's it. Friends and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else. People are what make it good. Um, JJ, have you had any weird fan experiences? Ah, uh, um, I would say my weirdest fan experience would be... Hmm. What would my weirdest fan experience be? I've had some people make up stories, you know. Okay. I remember Christmas Eve even, someone making up a story, you know, saying I was talking to them. I didn't know who the person was. To be honest with you, um, I've, you know, I've loved one person my whole life in that way. And I, I, I don't do that stuff. I wouldn't do that. Um, but just so many stories, you know. Yeah. This one tells that one before you know it. There's 50 people Wild who fire. think JJ. Yeah, yeah. Who's talking to their friend? I don't know. I don't know their friend. I don't know your friend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's life can get pretty crazy um, with all those followers. Well, are you, have you all bought t-shirts yet? Because I would love to know. I bought a t-shirt. I mean, you're wearing, you're rocking it. Yeah, uh, we both are bought ours. Are you guys gonna like wearing. sign each other's? Are you that, um, are you that I'm actually going to rock this to rock the U.S. It. Open, so... Oh, yeah, I'm about to go to the U.S. Open. Open. JJ's disgusting handwriting on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That's it's why. I'm here all week, so okay. it's one of my favorite things. So. I was supposed to participate in that, like, the tennis, but, like, my hand hurt, but, like, they usually, right. like, got me involved with that, you they, know? They, like, they recruited you. Yeah. You're, like, I'm busy. I'll try to fit yeah. in. I, um, yeah. Yeah. Wait, so how, you're in L.A. for the week? Yeah. Both of you? I, I, I live, live here. here. Now. I live in LA. Okay, I'm okay. Now, I What's your favorite like LA thing to do? Uh, favorite LA thing to do would be uh, wake up on a Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday was very specific. I Where's just love Warwick Wednesday. Okay. Sin season. Uh, okay. With my boys. It's just, this is when me all my boys. We have a group chat called Piles and Denials. It's like me, Nigel Houston, Matthew Espinoza, Kifa, all my boys, and we, we just send it on Wednesdays. So okay. that's my favorite LA thing would be, you know, wake up. Uh, usually it's like uh, Warwick at night, wake up a little hungover and hit the waffle. And then oh. It's a good, it's I, was, a I, I, don't, I don't do that. I, I'm not involved. <laughs> no, he's, he's not involved in that last Yeah, you're, you're 16, actually, so. I actually just met You'll JJ this week. He doesn't do any of that. I'm 22, so yeah, yeah. I mean, little, yeah. grew up a little different and a little bit older, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's an age, there's an age difference. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, so obviously Wednesday's not your favorite day. What's your, what's your LA well, thing you to do? You don't know that day. JJ, you know what JJ does on Wednesdays? What? You go skydiving every Wednesday. I go skydiving, I'm not kidding. No. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's, um, That's it's, it's yes it is. His dad owns this, like, yeah. really, like a. Really? Yes, yes. Wait, what? No. Crazy. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> uh, my actual favorite day would be, I like Wednesdays, you know, cause like, I like Wednesdays, but I would say, you know, Saturdays, Saturday, Friday. yeah, like the weekend. You know, I don't hate Mondays. Okay. I don't hate Mondays. You don't hate Mondays because you like what you do. I mean, and you're 16, I feel like. Every day is the weekend. Yeah. We well, ain't going to school on a Monday, so that's, I think that's why Mondays were hated. Right, uh, right. I love Mondays. <laughs> Mondays can be great, guys. Um, Y'all keep tuning in with questions. One more just came through. Oh, do you have like a daily routine? Or do all days like blur together? Yeah, I'm like never in the same place. Like never in the same place. Right? Yeah. yeah, all over yeah. the place. What's your favorite place you've ever been? Uh, I just got back from Mexico. That Mexico. was my favorite. I did my Where tour were you there, in Mexico. Mexico City. Oh no 
away. I used yeah. to work in Mexico City a lot. Oh, sick. It's a good place. And what about you? Barcelona. Barcelona? Yeah. Wow. Do either of you speak Spanish? Not at all. Okay. I'm just Portuguese. Oh, okay. I know Despacito, I know. Right. I know, you know, a lot of the Spanish yeah. girls say I'm Lindo. Oh. They say I'm very Lindo. Nice. Nice. They're Linda. They're Linda. They're great. Yeah. You're, you're solid. You have all you need to survive in Mexico City and Bar Barcelona. Um, amazing. What's the least favorite place you've been to? Is that a thing? <laughs> Is there know. anywhere that you're just like, I don't need to go back there? Uh, Indiana, yeah. Okay. Because that's where you're, that's where you grew up. From, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah, it's just a joke. You love people from Indiana? No, I love people. I mean, that was just a joke. Okay. But like, I, I, it's not where I want to, you know, grow up. Not where you want to uh, Probably, like, really didn't like Wyoming. It's just not fun. <laughs> okay. Nothing to do. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't really love Florida that much. Okay. I don't love Florida that much. Okay. I love Florida. Are you guys like city people or? No, I was, I was raised I on a farm. Country, okay. Doesn't really matter. You're open. I okay. like I like to get away though. Okay, where do where's like your dream? Are you gonna like have the dream um, house someday? I after um after maybe twenty years old, um, okay. I have a land in Ireland that I'm gonna probably end up moving back. No like, way. There, yeah. Cool. We'll find you in Ireland after the Madison Square Garden show. Yes. Cool. 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 Um, Y'all, you can still get these shirts on direct endorsement. You can still get personal messages. Maybe if that hasn't. Okay, um, someone just asked, we kind of talked about this, but your favorite place that you want to go in the world? Um, um, have you not crossed off the bucket list yet? Ibiza for me and you. Really? Um, I really so you're just like go obsessed to... with Spain. Yeah, I love Spain. I want to go to Indonesia. I no way, okay. It's like Bali or? Um, all over. All I know over. that my, my, I have like the biggest fan base in Indonesia. No like that's way. like most of my fans. Why are. is that? I don't know. I don't know. There's great, amazing but girls, great. amazing okay. people. So you would like probably go to Jakarta, Jakarta, do um, Bali. Go to Bali and see the beaches. Yeah, and there's uh, one more spot I'm missing okay. out on. Okay, that'd be cool. But Spain, you're just like a diehard Spain. Why haven't you been to Ibiza yet? Is it Ibiza? Ibiza? Uh, well, I didn't have a pass for like a year and a half. Oh. Yeah, I lost so many they wouldn't give me a new one, so. But I leave for Brazil on uh, the 21st of okay. next month. So. I'll be there. No way. Are you guys yeah. going together? Yeah. Yes. It's going to be huge. It's going to be That's going to be crazy. What are you doing there? Just what I would have done my whole life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, like all over Brazil? Or uh, it, 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 was, it was actually going to be all over Brazil. Okay. But there was a bunch of safety hazards going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as I told you, my biggest fear is death. Uh, also being in danger, so I, I want to be able to do something. I want to be able to do it comfortably. Yeah. So it was seven, six or seven cities, and we cut it down to just Rio and San Paulo. So. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be insane. It's gonna be like uh, South America is my favorite place in the world. Okay. And I've already been to Brazil, and it's like the best experience of my life. Do you feel like when you go on your tours, you get to do fun things, or is it kind of like all work and meet and greet? Which obviously, like your meet and greets are fun, but. Like, do you get to do your own thing? Oh, like waking up and like that hecticness and all that. It's 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 like it's a part of like what it is. So yeah. like, uh, no, it's not too hectic for me. I enjoy it. I love it. Um, I love being in a different place, a different location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and no, for the most part, it's pretty fun. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I never find a problem with it. But do you get to like have a second and go skydiving oh, yeah, I mean, or? Uh, like when like you're on like a like I've done like a hundred city tour. So like by like the the fifth one, you're just like. You're like, uh, I just want to sleep in my off time. Yeah, I just want to yeah. sleep, but I mean, that's what the tour bus is for in hotels. Um, I might be on the road more than I might be in LA, though. Okay. okay. So, I can't say much about it, but LA going for days, but. How oh, funny. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, is everyone tuned in? Have you gotten your shirts? This is ma major, directendorsements.com, and they're supporting the Make a Wish Foundation which is obviously awesome and something that Taylor and JJ feel so passionately about. Um, someone just asked another question. Fave music. I'm starting with you because you're my like, music mu musician. Go. <laughs> favorite music. Uh, five musician. seconds of summer. Oh. My favorite. Favorite? Yeah. Hands down? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Any bands that you need to see that you haven't seen? Um, I never got to see One Direction. Um, okay. Mm. So it, I mean, I'm I'm friends with a lot of these guys, yeah, but yeah. now, but um, trying to think who. Mm, I mean, Twenty One Pilots is cool. Okay. Yeah, cool. that's about it. 
Cool, cool. Taylor. Juice Thanks. World, just like Juice World all over right now. So Juice World, okay. That's that's me. Uh, Juice World, Ray Shimmer. That's about. Okay. I wanted to join Ray Shimmer, but like they don't need an extra member. They wanted okay. me to join and like become the new Jonas Brothers, but yeah, yeah, contracts yeah. and shit. You're involved. busy. Yeah, you're going like to Brazil. There's a bunch of contract shit. Yeah, and I'm just like, I can't. Contracts are the worst. Um, okay, fave DJ. Wait, from Sam. Sam asked your fave DJ. Uh, DJ Sam Silver. Wait, did Sam ask you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, DJ yeah. Sam. He's a good, good friend of mine. Great guy. Okay, Great guy. Sam may have asked you. What's your favorite uh, DJ? DJ Rock, legend. Okay. The streets. Legendary. I like it. Um, fave food. French fries. French fries. French fries. So, so are you like salt over sweet? After this, you know, I have a date. I'm gonna go have French fries. You wait. You have a date. Like with French fries or with a with a girl? I, I can't tell you that. Oh. I can just tell you that there's a date and there will be French fries there. There's a date. French fries are happening. Yes. What's your favorite French fry? Uh, I just like regular with salt, but I like regular McDonald's salt. fries the most. McDonald's, yeah, they're um, super salty. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. I like. Curly I can't really fries. take her to McDonald's though, you know. No, no. Doesn't you gotta like. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got up. Okay, so it is. It is a date away. with a girl. Um, fave food. Uh, probably sushi, uh, abacore belly. We have some here. Yeah, that was Brock that was some that off brand <laughs> shit. Um, more into that sugar fish vibe. I sugar fish is the best. I I'm like sugar. Fish. It's so good. I can't do anything else. I don't know how I didn't realize, but I I never thought about getting it to go, and now I'm like really addicted, oh, and it's a horrible habit. Number one post made shout out to my boy Ben. <laughs> yeah. Unreal. Uh, okay. Yeah, people have been, he's real. Um, Y'all, we actually have a special guest coming soon. Who? So Lil Wayne? I don't know who it is, but that's about to happen. I don't know when, but someone may just jump into the screen soon. I have no idea who. He's who do you? Yeah. What? Magic? A magician's yeah. coming? He's by name Sam, I bet. Is he your friend? <laughs> no. Wait, obviously magic Tell is her. magic is happening. Where's her? Um, but yeah, you guys are still. They say I'm a magician. Do you know any magic tricks? All right, so when I start to sing, like, I could just magically make the girls go crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sing, sing, sing. Yes. Yeah, sing, yeah, sing, 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 sing. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Pressure. What? Taylor, will you sing? All of your ladies oh, are no. tuned in. Uh, what do you want me to sing? Your I could sing some dealer's choice. Naya, I could sing some five sauce. Um, five, like bring me some five sauce. Bring magic. some five sauce. Um, <laughs> um, what song? Do you, do you feel like you're like really put on the spot? I'm not right put now, on the spot at all. Song? I like okay. to sing with anything. No, this is world. it's your Can you pick a song. Nice. Wait, no, I, I, I can't handle the pressure. Very. Um, do you want me to sing? I would rather sing Nile. Okay. Know okay. Nile yeah. Nile. Do you know who he is? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Shadows dancing without you for the first time. My heart is open. You walk right in tonight and tell me the things that you regret. Cause if I'm being honest, I ain't know you yet. It's all I'm asking. Is it too much to ask? Wow. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> also, I have Wait. like pickup oh. lines. Okay, yeah. I throw, use those. Those are the best. Throw them at us. Go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I, I don't know if I'm ready. Alright. Not that I would use these. I, you would never use them. But in his back pocket in case. Hey, I forgot your name. Can I just call you mine? Yeah. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> do you get it? I got it. It took me a second. Alright, do you know, know what kind of material this is? Uh, no. Just feel, feel it. Just feel it. This is boyfriend material. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like that one. <laughs> JJ has these little dads. Taylor, are you are you a pickup are you a pickup line? <laughs> you have some critics over here. Wait, are you a pickup line? Nah, I'm just straight. No. Straight. What's your what's your intro? You just say what's up. I can't put that on camera, but like. Oh. Secret. I used to have this thing where I flip my hair and said, "How you doing?" But like, it stopped That's because it. like. All the girls at my school would talk about, did JJ do the how you doing to you? And oh. then like, I could shorten you it up. Overused it. I you overused it. You overused it. What you drinking tonight? They used to like, I mean, it's like, I pull up to a party, like, what you drinking tonight? It's like, tequila. I said, let's run it. Oh. 
That's it. Okay. There JJ's 16 though, so you don't know about that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet, not yet. Um, but like, if she's drinking a soda, you're like, soda. Cool. I mean, I'll um, get you some French fries with your Coke. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a gentleman. I really treat girls well. Yeah, All yeah, jokes yeah. aside, you know, pick up lines, you know, but I really, you know, yeah. old girls, they At they're first date, McDonald's. <laughs> Second date. I'm an expensive date kind of guy. Really? I'll, I'll take her on an expensive date. Wow. Last night, I took the homies out to dinner. The bill was $1,500. Guess how much you paid on that? <laughs> Zero? I don't know. Taylor paid for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to say, Jordan? You guys. Twitter. You're live on Twitter. I didn't know that was a thing. Twitter. Twitter. You live on I Twitter? got birds on my timeline. <laughs> We're so tweeting now. We All right, Twitter. <laughs> JJ is the truth. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ask the question. Yeah, truth okay. or dare? Um, truth or dare? Um, dare. Oh my god, I don't oh, know any dares. I don't know any dares. Wait. Um, send us uh, dares. Send us dares, people. I can't send come it. Up with this. Send it. Send us the dares. Wait, are you always a dare person? What's the craziest dare you've ever done? All right, so there is this guy I didn't like growing up in, in, in um, when I was younger. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not very proud of this, but <laughs> I used to order pizzas to his house almost every day after mm -hmm. school, and I, would, I lived across the street, so I would watch the guy knock at the door, the mom came out, no, no pizzas, and then I said, and then one time I ordered a taxi to his house, and I told the taxi <laughs> guy, I was like, hey, this is before Uber and Lyft existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, um, I'm not feeling good. Could you <laughs> please walk inside the house and wake me up if I'm not outside? So the guy actually walked in the house and woke the person up. I watched it all from my from my room. I watched Wait. it from the street. It was nuts. I felt was this a dare or was this, this just was like just this me. is an evil well, I, thing that came out? What happened is my other friend used Patron. to do it too. Okay. And then during, Patron, please. during Halloween time. Patron, bro, right now, please. But during Halloween time, it got pretty yeah. bad. We were, you know, messing with his pumpkin. Patron, please. Oh, gosh. Your kid's crazy. Taylor, do you have a, have, do you have a crazy dare you've accomplished? Or are you more of a truth teller? I don't, uh, don't tell the truth a lot. Um, what, what was the dare? I, I haven't played truth or dare in like four or five years. Okay. Um, so you haven't done anything? You haven't sent pizzas to guys' houses? No, I, maybe not a woman's, but like no, okay. not, not to one of the boys. <laughs> That's your secret pickup line. Um, you send pizza. That would oh, like no. Work. No, definitely not the pizza. Sugarfish, yeah. Sugarfish, yeah. Wait. Bro, run that. What's please. happening? <laughs> run it. Send it. I think, no, 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 ask no, no, me not truth. Yet, ask yet. me the truth. Um, I feel like all I've been asking you is truth. No, but uh, what's a new Most one? Most embarrassing moment. Um, I had my pants fall down on stage before. No. Yeah. Seri How does that even happen? My friend pants me. You got pants. Yeah. Oh. But little did he know I was wearing impossible shortest underwear ever. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right, let's play a game. Yeah, okay. Can we play a game? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. All Get right, so every one of these that you make into the cornhole in the back, by the way, this is I'm Sam Winkler, one of the <laughs> co founders of Drug Endorsement yeah. and uh, entrepreneur, love giving back. So this go. is a, a way that I'm going to try to give back. Okay. So we got a cornhole in the backyard. For every one that we make in, I'll donate. A hundred bucks. Okay. Wow. Bit. To Make a Wish Foundation. I'm from Indiana. And so. everyone they make in, the viewers and watchers, better buy a t-shirt. And personally, you can even send us a DM. We'll answer the DMs and actually uh, write something cool back on the t-shirt or whatever you want. So. Who's going to sign? This guy. Me. Right here. Oh. Yeah. Me. I'm in there. Right, How you doing? Let's see I like you chicken do nuggets. Do you have a corner set right. from here? Oh my Jesus. Wait, from oh. here? Yeah, it's like here. <laughs> Come on, guys. This just got real. You think it's too hard? There you go. Where? Over here. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot the first one. All right. Should we make it too hard? Yeah, yeah, we should wait. We make it too hard? Viewers, we've got to up the oh, ante. Uh, this is a serious. That's going to be hard. Right, if I make it the first one, then it's not that, that hard. If you make it the first one, then it can be 100. But otherwise, okay. it should be 300. Sounds like, 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 sounds like
there you go. There you go. All right. Yeah. Let's see. That's the question. Hundred dollars. You got JJ. Hundred dollars for myself. That was, oh, that, was right. that was great effort. Right. No, that was great effort. Let's go. So so far we got a hundred bucks you like the to pieces? make Wish Foundation. <laughs> what? You like Alrighty. the pieces? Alrighty. What about with the pieces? I think the shots, 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 shots are right. no, oh, you nicely on the spot. That was all me. Like, everyone's gonna love. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's worth fifty. 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 That's
Oh, that first one's showing up. Oh my god, the wealth is already insane. He's out here, he's out here. Do you remember charity? Alright, we turned it a little bit crazy, but it happens to the best of us. Alright, I'm so proud of you, bro. You got not one, but you got two. No, I got two. You got some coaching and leverage. 50%. They did great, they did great. One for three, so that's not 50%. Oh, that was pretty good. You're like a. <laughs> I love it. I bought it all the time. Right? All right. All right. That's pretty good. Oh, so Wasn't bad. There's some swipe ups in there. Yep. Yes. Um, and now, I don't know if we have the, the magic yep. coming. Oh, sorry. Magic? He's on his way over here. Like, oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Just Anywho. Do a magic trick here faster. Right? We'll edit that out. What is that? <laughs> Ew. I got one. Excuse me, what? Boss? I feel like yeah. Anyway, I think that's been... We, let's, yeah. close, let's sit back down and then close it oh, out. Oh, so we're sitting. Going back. Back, right. back into the vortex. Where'd uh, JJ go? Your last JJ. I'm in, I'm in Man down. Man down. Yeah. I'm trying to go to the bathroom, but... I really need to go, but okay. <laughs> this show took a crazy turn. Wow. Um, we egged some people again. for a cause. I don't really feel like I'm going to say we. They egged some people for a cause. Sorry to the intern that had to be part of that. that. But, you know, we raised, we raised some awareness, and hopefully a ton of money and a ton of shirts were sold on direct endorsement for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Y'all can still get them and get these guys' signatures. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you both for yeah. being here. Thank you so oh, much for having me. Thank you. It was amazing. What I next? Appreciate it. appreciate it. Brazil. 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 Brazil all right. Next. Well, all the Brazil fans, get your shirts so yeah, you can shirts. show up and show these guys how much you support them. Peace out. Peace. Bathroom, yeah. I had to get a little excited. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I got it. I got you, buddy.
Tell me when you're going live. Uh, we're wait, live or we're doing story for it. What do you think? Story is story, better? So smart, yes. Okay. I'm just going to film the whole thing and we're going to pick a story up. Cool. Everyone, All right. Hey, everybody, guys, seriously. All right, tell me when. All right, everybody. Uh, hey, thanks so much for uh, viewing us today. We had a great time on our live stream. So this is for directendorsements.com. We have limited edition t-shirts, and we have the boys here, and we're about to show you guys an amazing trick. We have Lauren Zawick, and uh, we we're about to show it to you. Uh, this is for Make-A-Wish Foundation, so please swipe up uh, and let's make this happen. So uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, t-shirts, great people, and let's see what Lauren's got. All right, thank you, brother. Simple card trick. Do y'all look different? Yeah? 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 Yes. yeah. All right, Olivia, you said you're going to help me out with this, right? I, I, she is the host. She is the host, so she has to help us. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see those cards again. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, touch them, don't molest them. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's a there we go. Joke for you folks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you. I thought it was a, a Just magician, not a comedian. Like this. Touch the back. Anyone. Take your time to hurry the fuck up. Take one. Pull it out. Take Show everybody. Don't let me see it. Show them. Olivia, I'm, I'm gonna give you no, the I see the reflection off the mirror. Go ahead. I already know what it is. So <laughs> All right. Put your card in the middle of the deck. She'll no, I need the deck. She's going to hold on to it. Don't get too fussy when you're going to tell us. That's me having sunglasses okay. on the middle, of, yeah. uh, <laughs> in the middle of the house. That's how it's going to work. Uh, put that in your left hand, left hand out, this hand to a fist. Does it matter your from right left hand, hand on top of him, who, who, it does. Who is the card? Left hand up. I, so yeah. to put your left hand. This is my right. His left hand. Oh, guys. Yeah, you're next. Yeah. You're, you're coming next. Right. Up. And so on and so forth. What? This is my right. Boom. And boom. You're trying to make me hold my homies' hands. Uh, they're actually good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus, bro. I was like, Amen. Amen. Okay. So, uh, you pick the card. Yeah. You put it in the deck. I haven't touched the deck since. Yeah. If you forget, I'm back right, by the way. So, Wait, did you guys? <laughs> Shit. Wait, I remember it. You, okay. you forgot? Hey, yeah, I remember. Harry Lloyd. You remember? Just put your hands together. We'll make this happen. Okay. Don't forget. Let's do it. Fuck's going on. Yeah. You guys see the Fight Club? Yes. There's a scene in the movie Fight Club. It says, punch me. Yeah. Punch him in the chest. Get him. Punch him in the chest. Harder. That's why she. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. There it is. I need like a little. I need. Come on. Give her a little kick. Come on. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Oh! All right. So violent. What not? What do you? What not? Okay. First time out loud. Say the card. Do you remember? Do you remember? Whoever knows, say out loud right now. Go. No, oh. Go. Say the card out loud. Yeah. 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 Do it. Hurry. Jack. 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 Um, Jack of what? Jack of what? Puppy feet. Jack of what? Diamonds. 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 Diamonds
Whatever, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's make sure we know it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure someone. Wait, can I see it? Let's, let's forget. Go make like sure this. someone does. You don't sit in the corner. Hey, hey it's my show. <laughs> I'm not a musician. I DJ. I don't take requests. Okay. <laughs> that was insane. Okay. Ready? Did you get that? You guys are. You guys have nothing. Yeah, thank you. Didn't even touch it. You guys held hands for two minutes, and now look at you guys. I was telling you. Why like, did you make us hail? We just held hands for no reason. Yeah. Are you live? I'm, I'm, ready. I'm, ready. I'm 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 ready. Ah, okay. That was me. That was me. I'll tell you, stop it. This whole day. Sometimes I do it for my own. The whole day. Stop. Perfect. No, you drop some. That's the floor show. Is oh. that your card? Oh. Uh, no, not a bicycle. Bend over and get it. No, I'm just playing. Nah, <laughs> Bend over and I'll show you. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, what? Put your card down. Flush. Actually, you know what? You got the card. You want yeah, that's what I'm saying. That uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. That's good. I'm just kidding. Go ahead and shuffle. Jesus. No, right. like, I, I, not too much. I gotta live in the bank. Well, that was awful. So <laughs> you figured it. You figured it. Figure 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 Give round of applause, you guys. Woo! Get this. Happen quick. You guys see it? No, you didn't. That's a distraction. I'm doing it again. Something that quick. This is my old dad's wallet. This is uh, he had it in the '80s. Get out of here. Wow. No, sure. Right I took here. all this cash from That's not the card, though, right? Uh, well, it depends. What was the card? Queen. Oh. No, I don't Jesus, it was the card, man. Here's the thing. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah, but how does he get it in the wallet that's totally honest. shut? There could be fucking. Uh, I mean, I've been, no, I, the last thing I was focused on was the wallet on the fucking table. Yeah. Wait, he's still going. You guys are Let's keep this shit going. Wait, yeah. sign up for the <laughs> crazy. Put your credit card number on the top and your social on the bottom. No, it's just kidding. I was like, yeah, here we go. We're going to sign it. Sign it. Just so everyone Just think that for everyone to kind of write something. He's a musician, though. JJ, bro, get, get, get outside of your phone. Anything in there. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and sign it to make it one of a kind. We'll get to it later. I love how Olivia's not based whatsoever. Olivia is used to this. She's, 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 she's good. She's like, I just. Don't think too hard. Don't think too hard. Oh, man. Don't think too hard. Oh, I'm signing it too. There's a big misconception. The truth is, the smarter you are, the easier it is to fool you. All right, we just signed it. My biggest fans, doctors, lawyers, psychiatrists. Why? They're complex, they're complex thinkers. Okay, I signed it. You guys sign, all signed it. Kids are the worst. Right. Kids are like, it's a night well, hand, and I'm like, shut well, up. Cause yeah. right. What's it, how old's a kid? Uh, about your age. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we do have a, you know. All right, keep an eye. So there's many kids in the world. Here. This is the only one kind of like this. I love you. By the way, I do magic and comedy. Do you don't think it's funny? I think it's funny. Thank you. It just takes one. Yeah. Oh, right. So you're going to recognize this later on, yeah? Yeah. Well, at least we can't forget the card. <laughs> can I see, can I see it? For this once. card right here. That one right there? Okay. We'll show everybody else. We're gonna look fucking look. No, come on. I'll, 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 everybody. I'll, I'll, we take the deck. Go ahead and do your thing. Share with the cards. Mm. No. Let them think what you're thinking. Show That's the a tricky camera. magician. You can't trust them. Alright. Come on, let's keep it there. Perfect. Only one of those, yeah? Whoa, what's that? Oh, what's that? That is you dropping the cards. <laughs> but what what is So check this out. Oh. JJ, drop a card. This is like 82 pickup. <laughs> JJ, just drop the ball, play, boy. Okay, you know yeah. We'll we'll very good, very good. Wait, what was what? What were you saying? Just... Well, we signed it, so we now know what it is. Yeah. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> you recognize him later on? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. You saw like an imperfection in the card, yes? Yeah. Say hello to everyone here. Tell me, describe what happened. Um, I know. Hold on, fail now. There's a little rip in a card. The rip okay, a rip in the card. Okay, so rip in the card would look something like, if I messed up, you'd get, if there was a rip larger than even, let's say, that big, a hair, mm -hmm. you get the money that's inside the wall. Sam, you hold on to it. Oh, sweet. The there's a lot of Fair? money in here, too. Okay. Woo! It looks like Jeezy. So. Okay. Okay. There's good money in there. When you see the rip. Can we donate it to make a wish foundation? Tell That'd Jeezy be nice. To tune in. Tune in. Yeah. You make can. a wish foundation. Mm. Are we live? Make a wish foundation. No rip, right? No. <coughs> you know why? This is great. It's not material. Because I thought they cheated. You saw me cheat, you took the hook, I reeled you in, and I'm like, Sam, here's the wallet, I mess up. You pull out the wallet, uh -oh. and I'm like, hey, guess what? There's back nothing to in the wallet. <laughs> what? I'm a magician, I got like 40 bucks. But Sam, <laughs> I'm going to need some more money later on. Okay, I got you. But if you look in here, there's actually something else. There's a zipper pocket. Go ahead and unzip that. 
Oh, wow. Oh, no way. Still it inside there. Molest the it like you did earlier. Oh, oh, my, God. Oh, oh, my God. Here's an imperfection in there. What is that imperfection? Oh. Have you oh, please turn that around. Turn it around. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you Legend kidding me? Oh, no, I just got in the wallet, yeah, in the okay, zipper. And that's my signature? Is that my signature? Is. He was right behind him. That was nuts, dude. Right there. That's pretty impressive. In the zipper. All right, donate. Direct endorsement. Swipe up. Legend. 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 Legend.